An old market truism is that you should watch what people do and not what they say. Even with very good prices, the uncertainty of harvest has made California reluctant to sell this crop. In comparison to previous years, very little business has been done this summer. When the ABC reports on the 2014 crop next month, I predict that 2014 shipments and percent crop commitments will be at a record low. In past years, this would have been seen as a sign of weak demand. This year, it will be a sign of weak supply. Did you know that when an almond grower harvests his crop, kernels or meats represent only 25% of the product delivered by the huller sheller? The majority are hulls used for animal feed and the remainder is shell used for power generation or animal bedding. With the ongoing drought, in comparison to typical years, the turnout of almond kernels from huller shellers is dropping by two to three points. This low turnout is an early indicator of a smaller crop. The early harvest across the southern half of the Central Valley indicates that the non pearl crop is down by 20 to 30 percent. Surprisingly, in the objective estimate, for the southern half of the valley, NAS has indicated an improved nonpareil crop. With these early harvest reports, we should consider the possibility of a crop well under the record NAS forecast of 2.1 billion pounds. Looking at recent years, a crop of 1.9 billion would still be well within the range of error. The marketers of almonds have been joking that this year's drought would create a new type of almond, textured. Fortunately, the quality of the early harvest looks quite good, and we've seen very little shriveling in almonds, even from water-stressed orchards. Ending on that high note, please join me as we explore the latest almond news from California and the world.